I've d directed several productions of Bohem and still at certain points, everybody in the room is crying because it's so honest and it's so true to human experience. I'm Peter Cazares. I'm the stage director for this production of Puccini's La Boheme. It tells a story that is evergreen, that is part of our lives always because most of us have had a first love where things don't actually all work out the way we want them to. Our two protagonists, Rodolfo and Mimi, we think in a way that they're going to be like storybook lovers and they are far from that. And there is regret and there is pain, but there is also intense attraction and emotion. And that is something that is part of everyone's life. It's part of growing up. We are so lucky to have Gabriela Reyes as our Mimi in this production. Spectacular soprano, wonderful human being who has just been a complete joy to work with. That warmth, that's really the thing that comes across with her is a tremendous warmth that just floods from the stage. She is an ideal Mimi. Kang Wang is our fantastic Rodolfo. He's just a very smart singer and very, very canny actor and extremely moving. The set design for this show was one of the first things that just got me so excited about working on the project, especially the transition between Act 1 and Act 2, which has to be seen to be believed. Act 2 is only 18 minutes long, and every time when we finish it we go, was that just 18 minutes? Because it is so complicated, and there's, especially in this production where there are more than 100 people on stage, there's a lot going on. So in Act 2 we have principles, we have chorus, we have children's chorus, we have supers, we have dancers. So we have a lot of moving pieces. And it's, it's a very interesting and very scenically gorgeous production. This production is set in 1919. So to begin with, it looks different from a traditional bohem, which is set probably in 1830. The costumes are absolutely gorgeous. Jennifer Muller, the costume designer, has done incredible work. And Jen is able to always find a solution that looks fantastic and always serves the storytelling. Wait until you see Musetta's act two gown, it's unbelievable. The music of La Boheme is like the sea and champagne. It is roiling, it is exuberant, it is fizzy, but it's also passionate. We have to trust Puccini's score because he knew what he was doing. And as a director, that's what I always feel. If I don't really trust the score, then I would not really direct the piece. But in this, I do. The music itself tells the story. And sometimes the music even is almost like a sort of hidden character. La Boheme is unflinching in its look at the human heart and how sometimes we have to say goodbye in order to save ourselves or because we actually are trying to save the other person. And so it is really a, a wonderful and always eternally moving story. <laughs> 